Hey, just a short video. I'm checking out an antique mall here in uh, Asheville in the River Arts District. Pretty cool place. Let's see what it is. Maybe I can find something to resell. I set up at my first show when I was 14, selling baseball cards. I've owned an antique mall, sold online, set up at the cheapest flea markets, and some of the more expensive indoor walled antique shows. My name is Matt Gregg, and this is the life of a modern antiques dealer. Sometimes I see outsides of shops that look like this, and I think, wow, I'm really going to find some good stuff in here. But then other times I think, man, that seems too contrived. It's always hard to tell. This shop had some cool stuff, very much jammed in there. Nice southern piece of pottery. No handle. Cool rusty thermometer, missing everything. I did love that. No room in the van for it. Mack truck. European or Eastern European sort of dough, dough bowl. Yeah. Shop was uh shop was interesting. I did I do like these kinds of shops. I also like really formal organized shops and I, I don't know. I like going through all the shops, I guess. I don't find that these types of shops necessarily have more bargains than, say, something far more organized and interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here, but do not block that door, people. Definitely don't block that door. Sun drop thermometer. Street signs. Yeah, I like this box. I didn't know that it would work, but it was priced right. Some cool big stuff. There you go, hillbilly. Annie's. Lots of painted stuff that was not unreasonable, but not reasonable either, I guess. I don't know. Okay, one purchase. This cane, $15. Pretty cheap. Definitely money left in it. Not really the type of thing I should be buying. I'm not sure if it's a good buy or not. Just in the sense that I'm primarily selling online now. Do a few shows, but... uh this seems like more like a shop piece or like a flea market type sale piece. I don't know. I don't know if I can make any money shipping this thing or if I want to do the work with packing up something like this. And it's not nice enough for a few of the shows I do. And uh, I don't know. But it was cheap. Not always, uh, as my friend Mike likes to say, just because it's cheap doesn't make it right. But I did buy it. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to follow my antiques journey, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks.